Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Danny Bone, who will, of course, pilot the number 20 Chevrolet for Young's Motorsports in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race at Daytona. How's it going, Danny? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. So how'd this deal get put together with uh, with Tyler? Oh, me and Tyler have been friends for years. You know, he's, you know, we, his shop's a couple miles up the road and, um, you know, obviously knew him through racing and then, you know, got talking to him more and more as I started racing the truck stuff. And, um, you know, I became friends with, friends with Spencer Boyd, you know, after I started driving the truck stuff and have worked with the youngest trucks on the super speedway stuff, you know, drafting and stuff during the super speedway races. So, um, honestly, I didn't have anything lined up and I got from work there a couple weeks ago and car pulled in my driveway and it was Spencer. And he's like, Hey man, let's go to dinner. So, you know, kind of just told him where I was at. And, um, one thing led to the next, made a few phone calls and, um, you know, was fortunate enough to have my long-term sponsors, North American motor car jump on board for this opportunity. And, um, you know, like I said, thankful for Young's Motorsports for, allowing me to drive it and you know right now we have Daytona locked in and I'm, I'm working hard on trying to get some more races locked in and, and and see where this takes me it's a it's a you know another opportunity it's a good opportunity and I'm gonna go down there and make the best of it did you think you were good you were gonna be back in the truck series this year I mean I really thought toward the end of last year that I would be and then you know as things progressed throughout the winter it there was times it was looking good and there was times it was, it wasn't looking good. Um, you know, but that, that just goes to show you just got to race every race as if, if, as if it might be your last, you know, and it's, it's, uh, it's just part of the way that this sport works. And, um, like I said, I've been fortunate enough to make a lot of friendships and relate and have a lot of relationships in the sport. And, you know, a lot of people pulling for me and a lot of people, you know, behind the scenes to, to make things happen for me. So, um, can't thank everybody enough for for pushing for me. You know, this is just another one of those those signs that you know, I guess, a little bit of a Cinderella story. Like three weeks ago, I didn't have a ride. You know, I didn't really have anything lined up, and you know, it's, it's tough to sleep at night, and you know, um, you know, just never never gave up and never quit on it. And the last week or two, everything's been really good in the, in in a good direction. So, um, you know, just just going to focus, you know, we got 23 days and, you know, focus on Daytona and then focus on just trying to put some stuff together for more races and, you know, more than anything, go out there and, and have fun and, and do well. So I've worked with Tyler's trucks before on the super speedway. They, they won Talladega. So, um, you know, I know that we'll go there and we'll have a fast truck and, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to do anything stupid, but, <laughs> it could be my last race. So hopefully we can uh, run well. I think there's a, a really good potential to to have a good finish there. And then uh, hopefully the rest is history. Yeah. So um, do you know, I, I believe Joe Lax is going to be your crew chief. Yeah, Joe, Joe will be my crew chief. So, um, you know, Joe's oh, just dropped it. Um, <laughs> Joe's Joe, Joe's watched me race modified stuff before, you know, me and him, you know, with, with being crew chief for Spencer for the last couple of years, so we've became friendly. And, um, I know that I, I think he's pretty excited for me to go there. So, um, you know, that's, it's a team, it's a team effort. It's not, you know, you could have a good driver and, and not a team behind you and doesn't show and same goes, you know, you could have a good team and not a driver. So I think, I think everybody has high hopes for this. I, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it and, you know, just see where it takes us. So, um, you know, talk about all the other plans. Do you do, do you plan to do some other racing? Do you plan to do some modified racing or anything like that? So I've kind of told myself this year, if I, you know, last year I ran 20 truck races. I ran the full season at Bowman Gray. I ran six races on the smart modified tour and I ran Turkey Derby and I don't take any of that of that back. I don't regret any of that, but it was really hard to focus on one thing and, and really get 110 uh, percent some people probably don't know but i do work a full-time job you know 40 hours a week uh, i'm extremely thankful for ray Everham, my boss for allowing me a flexible schedule but um it's 
just a lot. I try to do a lot and not a lot of time. And we've had success. We've had failures. We've had ups and we've had downs. But I think, you know, this year my main focus is going to be the truck stuff. If I only do one race, then obviously I'll try to stay in the modified as much as I can and just stay active. Um, but right now I've I've kind of circled a couple NASCAR modified tour races that I, I want to make. I've circled a few on the smart tour that I want to make. And I've, I've always wanted to win that 200 lap of Bowman gray. I've won the 199 twice, the 150 once, the championship, the hundred lappers, the 50 lappers. I have not won the 200 lap race. I finished second last year, second, a couple years before that. So we're the trucks are off that weekend. So I can almost promise I'll be at that one. Um, you know, I, I come from modified race and that's where my roots are. And, you know, that my fan base is, is great there and the support is great there. And um, I feel like they would all understand where I'm coming from. You know, if I take some time away from that to focus on, on this truck stuff and there's just so much goes into this. And like I said, I'm at a, it's not a bad thing. It is what it is. You know, I, I, I need a job to pay my bills. So I, um, I do it in half the time everybody else does. And then on top of that, work on my own cars, race my own cars, do a lot of my sponsor stuff. I've, I've got some people that are in my corner now helping me on the marketing side, the sponsor side. You know, I feel like um, I feel like everything is going in the right direction. It's it's really late. Um, I, you know, nobody likes to put deals together that late in the year, but, you know, just thankful that it did come together. Thankful that I have another opportunity and I am going to go down there and give it 110%. All right. Well, Danny bone, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and uh, good luck at Daytona. Hopefully we'll see you out there more. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.